My name is Evelyn Richards. I am the Deputy SEO Editor at Metro.co.uk and I'm 24 years old. My name is Toby Thomas. I'm a reporter at The Guardian and I'm 26. I'm Soraya. I work at EAS Magazine and Evening Standard. I'm an editorial intern and I'm 23 years old. I am Ben Curtis. I'm the Head of Editorial Performance at The Telegraph and I am 35 years old. My name is Steph Spiro, I am the Daily Express's Senior Political Correspondent and Environment Editor and I am 24 years old. My name is Noah Hoffman, I am a political reporter at The Sun and I am 25 years old. When I figured out I wasn't going to be a Broadway star, I realised that I'm going to have to pick another career that involves being very loud and outgoing and opinionated, but also that can fit in my obsession with current affairs. As part of an art project at school, went to a student protest at a local university where I interviewed some of the protesters and that was uh, just opened a new chapter for me. I became the sports editor a London student newspaper, which at the time was Europe's largest student newspaper. There's not a day that goes by where I don't feel privileged to be doing what I do now. A big part of my job is speaking to people who have overcome or are enduring obstacles and um, listening to people open up, share their stories in an attempt to help others is hugely inspiring. What inspires me most in my job is my colleagues. They are immensely talented. They really are pushing at the boundaries of what's achievable. The story I'm most proud of would have to be breaking the Chris Pincher scandal. It was my first major story as a political reporter, but far more importantly, it had real implications for victims. A very predatory man who was in a very high position of power was ultimately taken down by revelations being brought out into the public domain. I basically interviewed Zara Emir, who's she's just won Best Supporting Actress at Cannes for The Holy Spider. I'm really into talking to different women and about their lives and trying to like amplify, you know, different women's voices. I think um, a story I would have liked to have worked on was perhaps the coverage of the London riots that happened over a decade ago. I remember The Guardian did a really important project called Reading the Riots that I remember reading at the time when I was still at school. I would have loved to have worked on the Partygate scandal. I think a lot of people felt personally, uh, I think offended is a fair word to describe that scenario. That story kind of went to the heart of government and held power to account and that's what journalism and journalists should always strive to do. The weirdest job that I've ever been sent on is certainly Tory party conference 2022 in Birmingham where you had ministers openly backstabbing each other, you had backbenchers, you know, offering up spicy source quotes on a silver platter. It was super weird. My news desk thought it would be a brilliant idea for a photographer to come to my house and for us to spend the afternoon trying to make Nigella Lawson's famous toast, which involves buttering it twice and then sprinkling some salt. We've had a lot of interesting stories on our desk, on why chainsaws were invented, on whether vanilla really comes from <laughs> beaver glands. I'm hopeful for the future of news. I'm from like the north and like I'm a woman, I'm also Muslim. So in the past, like, doors would have just been so shut out for people like me. I really think that the future, um, particularly of online news, will gear towards more the feature length pieces, the original, niche, exciting, new, brilliant, well-written, well-researched quality content. I think it's important to try and take as many opportunities that might come your way. You never know where the story will take you. Journalism matters to me because it's an essential part of a functioning society. I think it's a really vital way to bring to light stories um, regarding people or communities or organisations which without journalism may otherwise remain untold. We are so lucky to live in a free society where you can have an opinion, you can tell a story, you can platform different voices and you can have debates. Journalism facilitates all of that.